the last time we had maths, we were doing something that we were connecting to uh, trigonometry. And it was something that we would uh, see in the real world from time to time. Can I remember what it was? Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel, thank you, Brian. It was the Ferris wheel, and how did we connect the Ferris wheel to trigonometry? Today's class was a continuation from a previous class I had done with them, and we had already done the unit circle, and they had seen the connection um, with the unit circle and the pure sine function what itself. What kind? Anyone remember the name of that type of graph that was doing the same thing over and over? A sinusoidal. A sinusoidal graph. Well done, David. All right, so I'd like you to start off now uh, drawing your sine graph, sketching first. Now I want you to, a lot of chat between you about how you're going to go about it and what the um, actual um, impact it has on the graph. Is yours like one sine x or what is it? Three. Minus three, Minus so three. we'll be using the red. So. Ours is yeah, like half. half, so the blue. Blue, yeah. I think it's, uh, group work is a good way to work because you're uh, working with your fellow students and it's a lot easier and um, you're understanding it better and you might know something and your other student mightn't know it so you'd be able to help them out and that. It's a lot easier to learn that way. Where? Well, we which one? No, 120. So, there. so 120 would be. Yeah. I'm set aside for the answer. No, theirs looks different. Oh, we're doing the def. We're doing the second line. Oh, we were doing the other one. Were you? We got a different number to you up there. We. Our number is bigger than yours. That's why it's bigger. I find project maths it's much better than the normal maths that we do because it's more interactive and you actually do the maths yourself. So you're, instead of a teacher just telling you everything, you're doing it and that makes it easier to remember. It takes a lot longer, but it's much more beneficial in the end. First of all, we look at what similarities do all the graphs have. Anyone notice anything similar with all of them? They're all wavy lines. They're all wavy lines, absolutely. And what part of the function made them wavy, do you think? Was it the x bit, the a bit, or the sine bit? A. Mm -hmm. The sign done because that's a period. I think function. they've gotten a lot more independent with their learning, and the freedom that they're given in class uh, seems to be appealing to them. They're able to discuss with their friends. They're able. They're not afraid to ask questions that before they thought maybe were silly or stupid. Um, they don't feel like they're classified as good or bad. They're just all working together to learn the concept. Well, you have it starting where on one. Would that be correct? No. no. Okay, so this time we start in zero. Yeah. The 90 is the million. So that would be minus one. And then two sides of the zero here. Slide there, no? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that means then that one is. That one, isn't it? The tree is down there. And then here, that one. And it's a bit lower. Oh, and then this one is there. When you do three there, like, it can't go above three, yeah, it can't go below three. So. I didn't really like Project Maths now at the start of it because um, I was used to the other method of teaching where you were taking down the notes in your copy and the teacher was telling you the answer, but um, a few more lessons of it now have warmed to the idea because um, it's easier to remember all the stuff that you do because you're doing it, you're, do you're finding out the answers yourself and you're discussing other problems like with your friends and um, uh, it sticks in your mind more clearly. It's not finished all the way to the end. There's a small bit that could be added on it. Yeah. Yeah, because it has to go right down to the end. Yes, it has to go right to the 720. Cheers. Overall, I think they did really well. I've been teaching Project Math Style now for three to four months and I have seen huge progress with the students in this area. There's still a few teething problems. Certain students still find it very hard to work independently and do have to be coaxed a little bit now and again. And some of them maybe just sit there and wait to be told what to do and you kind of have to go up and tell them now what was the instruction and what do you think you have to do next and so on. So we are getting there but certainly the majority of the students are doing what they should be and I'm very happy with that progress. My grades are getting better and uh, I'm finding it easier to learn because uh, we're learning ourselves and last year the teacher just told us what, how it worked and but now I understand it and everything. I like maths anyway but I think project maths is a much better way to learn because we're working in groups and we're actually finding out the answers for ourselves. Mm -hmm.